Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, let's talk about the Duveri Paradox and what's to come in Warframe. In general, it looks like Warframe is now starting to change up a lot. In the past, pretty much 8-9 years, Warframe has gone from being a more slow-paced, action-packed shooter with abilities to pretty much hyper-paced. You have a ton of abilities, ton of speed-ups, you're jumping as fast as hell, you have arc wings that can zoom through everything, you have Titania, Volt, so many frames that can run at the speed of sound. So in general, Warframe has just been such a fast-paced game that it's been kind of weird to play for a lot of people. This has been because of a lot of things. The AoE meta made it so that you didn't even have to stop while killing every single thing in the game. The speed meta of all the frames and all of the control fast jumping made it so that you can just speed through everything, right? No surprise. I'm trying to say it. The game's too fast, okay? The game has become too fast. And it looks like the background footage will be Duberry Paradox stuff from the, you know, general reveal trailer. It shows that they're looking to slow down the game. Since Duberry Paradox looks to be more of a slow-paced, roguelike, drifter operator combat based system, it's going to be a lot slower. And that means that, yeah, Warframe is trying to actively, okay, slow down the game. It's hard to say whether it will be like kind of the new war in some sense where certain parts are slower paced, which it almost definitely will be, right? And then other parts will be a lot faster paced. But the difference is in the new war, in the end of the day, it still went down to Warframe fast paced speed mechanics. And with Duveri Paradox, I don't think it'll be as fast-paced, okay? Those speed mechanics will definitely be toned down 100%. So far, the only footage we have of Duveri Paradox is just that pretty much 20-minute trailer that we're running in the background here. All you're doing is running around, shooting some soldiers, right? You get in some melee combat. Oh, you get on your little horsey. It's a really cute little horsey, okay, if I do say so myself. And, you know, that's because they obviously still need speed. You need to be able to get around. But if most of the combat is going to be done either with Drifter Operator and maybe even just base Warframes like Excalibur, Mag, or Volt, hey, maybe all of Duveri Paradox will be slowed down. I'm not too sure if they're planning on doing the thing where, during the Duveri Paradox quest, it will be slowed down and, uh, you know, not a fast-paced Warframe-esque shooter. But maybe once you finally complete the full Duveri Paradox storyline, maybe once you're done everything, you will get, you know, full access to your entire arsenal, and everything will speed up once again. It is definitely harder to say. But these last years have definitely shown, hey, Warframe wants to calm down a little bit with quest speed, right? They want you to slow down so that you can kind of enjoy the game and just take a look at everything. So here, yeah, Reb's just like quietly talking, chatting about taking a look at all of this, right? That's the thing. Like clearly that means they're trying to slow down the game. They want you to take a look. They want you to talk to everyone, see what's happening. They don't really want you to speed run everything to the fastest ability possible. Even when we get to the point where there's melee combat with the Drifter, it's still just slower paced combat compared to what we know of Warframe. Railjack, regular Warframe, Arcwing, all combat tends to be like really fast paced, everything dies in one shot, and it looks like they just don't want that to happen anymore. Looks like they're trying to make Duveri Paradox its own unique open world experience, right? Because right now we have a Plains of Eidolon, we have Cetus Deimos, or sorry, Cetus is Plains of Eidolon, we have Deimos stuff, we have Fortuna. Those are all just kind of similar in how they work. This place can indeed change though, the Drifter says. He's so shocked, right? Those ones all seem to work in the same way, but it looks like Duveri Paradox is going to be 
more unique compared to the other ones. With the eternalism type of general atmosphere and shtick going on, with the, the future can change idea, the past, the present, everything all coming together at once, multiple timelines, what have you, right? Hey, Warframe. It looks like they want it to be slower. You, They want you to explore, and they'll want you to look around. It'll be very interesting taking a look at the entire Duveri Paradox world once we get maybe... I don't know, maybe we don't ever get our hands on our Warframes, our Arcwing, general open world stuff like that. I believe this open world right now is planning on having no sort of mining, no sort of fishing, right? I think they're going more for just like a daily roguelike reset on the planet where you can choose different like abilities, buffs, accolades, what, what have you. I can't remember what they're called. They're gonna show it here, right? It shows like they wanna they wanna give you a little little daily buffs on what you can pick. I can't remember how it goes about it. I think uh, I think I have to like go forward a little bit more. Either way, you get like your daily buffs. That's all well and good. Get your drifter max mask here. Oh come on, where is it? Where is it? Am I gonna see? There it is. You get your like little daily buff. Of course, for the first time, they're just giving you the little loyal steeds so that you actually have a mount, but I think this is going to be a really interesting mechanic, right? We're finally getting some of that roguelike into Warframe. I'm starting to wonder if this part of Duveri Paradox, if this is kind of more influenced in kind of Soulframe-esque ideas, right? Like, Warframe is still Warframe and it'll always be separate from Soulframe. Those two will always be separate, right? But it starts to think with more melee combat and they're trying to focus more on drifter slow paced melee combat do you think like maybe they're trying to just trying to make it more inspired by soul frame do you think they're just mixing ideas i don't know they're probably very separate but it's always hard to say because in the last little while even for the new war we did have slowed down melee combat with teshin right but not too much. As you can see, with the with the general Duveri Paradox, it stays slow paced. It's really cool, those statues seem to be those little checkpoint type areas. So I mean, it's definitely going in a different direction. Warframe never had little checkpointy areas, and of course, once you hit a checkpoint, you just get absolutely nuked by the big lizard. But after the Duveri Paradox is done, like after your first playthrough of it, is it actually going to have tons of reasons to come back? Or is it, again, just going to be a regular open world past the first time? So I guess I'll have to wait until the game comes out. We'll get more info on that. But I'm assuming they're trying to slow everything down, right? Because we have your boy Dominus Thrax, we have old Teshin, and we have what looks like you getting in tune with the original three Warframe yet again. So it's possible that we'll get access to the original three Warframe, base Warframe, unbuffed, and that'll still be slower combat. Or maybe you'll just get melee drifter combat. And this is more... Honestly, what I expect Soul Frame esque type combat to be. Probably Soul Frame is gonna be less flashy compared to this, or maybe more more flashy. But this is kinda what I'm expecting slowed down Warframe chill combat to be. But they just can't bring this into like the generals of Warframe because the game works with a uh, very fast paced, high power frames. Maybe they can give Drifter some high, strong, good crit melee. I don't know, right? But it looks like that's the direction Warframe's going down. They want to slow it down. I do believe they plan to nerf the uh, AoE meta because it's just so apparent right now. But who knows what else they'll do in the future, right? They're clearly going for a slow down combat. They're going to nerf AoE meta. Who knows what else they could do. Flying horse combat, uh, uh, uh. I don't wanna really see that, but there's a ton that they can start doing for this. And you know what? I just wanted to have a little chat about that today, cause why not?
Looks like the Warframe's gonna change up this next year once we start getting those big story updates. And we'll have to see if it does actually start changing up the gameplay cycle or style of Warframe and start slowing it down. Or if Duveri Paradox will be its own slowed down gameplay cycle area. So thank you all for watching. As always, if you want to support the channel, Epic Game Store creator code Pupsker. You can follow the Twitch and all of the other social medias. Like, follow, comment on YouTube. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Peace.